So we need a form. Uh, let's see, how's this work in uh, real Slack? Click new channel, and uh, the whole sidebar and chat both go away, and it replaces it all with a form. Zoop, zoop. All right, uh, so we better make a new component for this form. Let's make a new component called room form. Capital R, capital F, roomform.js. It's going to be a form, and with all of our forms so far, we've made them classes because we sync the state as you type in the form, right? So it'll be a full-blown class component. So we'll import both React and component from React. And it'll be class room form extends component. Don't forget to export default room form. It'll definitely need a render method, which will need to return some JSX. I'll make a div called room form. And we'll figure out how to show and hide this form later. For right now, uh, temporarily, I'm going to go into main.js. I'm just going to comment out sidebar in chat and just uh, import room form from dot slash room form. And just return that instead. There you go. It's blank because there's nothing in it. Not because we screwed up. All right, so what do we need in here? Um, I'll put another element between the div and my actual form. Just thinking ahead to the way I'm going to lay it out. Then I'll make my form. And in my form, I have an input. E I E I O. I'll put that inside a paragraph. Inside of my paragraph, I'll have a label for my input. Uh, it'll be the room name, so I'll call that name. Room name. I'll capitalize that. Why not? Put my input, type of text. Name of name. I suppose we'll make this uh, autofocus, and it probably should be required. Don't forget, autofocus is camel cased in React. So remember the HTML4 here, that should match up with the name that you give it down here. Important for accessibility. In regular old HTML, this is just four, but in JSX, it's HTML4 because four means four loops, right? So we don't try to use reuse uh, reserved words for prop names. Cool. Uh, so there's name. Let's also make description. Make another paragraph with a label for description. Description. Put another input. Also with type text. Name equals description. Then I'll make a little div for some buttons. Put my submit button in here. Be a button of type submit. I don't want to make it say something lame like submit or go. I want it to actually be a verb phrase that describes what it does, which is create room. Speaking of which, I think I'll go ahead and put in like an H2 up here. Create a room. How's this looking? Oh, yeah. Look at all that majesty. Yeah. Indeed. Just getting ready to. 
So here's my room form so far. We can still type in here, right? Because this is just an old vanilla HTML form that's managing its own state, but we want React to manage that state, right? So our component's gonna have some state. I'll do it outside the constructor. Um, I think I'm not gonna have this.state.name and this.state.description. I'm gonna put this.state.room and have that have a name and description, which I'll initialize to empty strings. So you see what I'm doing? This room here in state, that's all the data I'm getting from my form, which right now includes both a name and a description. So down here, my inputs. For name, I'll put value equals this.state.room.name. And for description, I'll say value equals this.state.room.description. And what I expect to happen then is I can no longer type in the form, right? Yep, because they're bound to state and state isn't changing. So to fix that, we need handle change, right? So on change equals this dot handle change. We're writing for the method we have, not the, uh, the method we want, not the method we have. On change equals this dot handle change because we haven't written that yet. So here we go. Handle change. Hmm. Okay. So it's this.state.room that we're changing, right? So eventually I'm going to be calling this.setState room probably. So I'll start room out as a copy of what's in state right now. Done this over and over now, this.state.room. Uh, then what? I don't think we need an if statement. But we need to figure out whether it's name or description, right? And change the right field. So how do we do that? It's an object, not an array. So event.target.name should give us either name or description, I agree. So what do I do with it? Yeah, but how? I agree. We definitely need to use this to find the right thing to change it. You're on the right track. What do you think? How can I use that? I've already copied this dot state dot room to room though, but yes. Right. Room square bracket event target name. Right. Equals equals what? Yeah, event.target.value, right? So event.target.name will be name or description. Event target value will be whatever we typed. So to make sure that we change the right one, we get the room out of state. We say square bracket, the name of the one that we're messing with, and then the value of the one we're messing with. And that ought to do it. Let's check it out. React DevTools, let's look in room form. There it is. State, room, description, name, both blank. Start typing in here. Oh yeah. Totally works. So, this is pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna commit main right now because we're just hiding sidebar and chat, which is not what we want. But I want to go ahead and commit my progress on room form, so I'm going to hit add. And say add 
only partially working. Room form component. So we're at least maintaining our internal state here, even though we're not actually adding the room yet. <laughs> 